Coach, this is the first time we've talked to you really this spring. Uh, I know see, spring season kind of ended a month ago, but just give us an overall recap of how the spring went for you and the guys. I, th I think overall we're pretty happy with it. Um, eight games went 6-1-1, one, and, one, and there's always two parts to spring. You have before spring break and after. And I look at our play before spring break, um, really pleased with it, the intensity level, the uh, you know, the reestablishing of some of our culture and, and things that have made us very successful and, and we we're scoring a lot of goals. After spring break, it's, it's a different story. Ten days off, guys, uh, you know, it just took us too long to find our, our intensity level, our mentality, rhythm of the game. And, you know, we, we had one bad weekend in there, uh, but we responded and, and ended very well uh, with a 5-2 win over Dayton. And uh, I think it's 28 goals and eight games, over three goals a game. We've got to play everybody, see the development of some young players and, and get experience. And I think we've made a huge step forward. And look, our identity is going to be clear next year. You know, we're going to be an aggressive, talented attacking team that's really going to be able to score goals. And I think that's what we found out. And we've got to fine tune a couple things at the beginning of the fall, but it's, we're set up for a really great year. Talk about what's going to be going on in the summertime. I know there's a bunch of guys going NPSL teams, especially some guys over and the Akron FC team, what are you hoping they gain from that to bring back to uh, when they get back here in, in August? Yeah, well, we got most of our guys playing, and we, we want them to continue just to stay a little fit, you know, matches, build confidence. Uh, we gave them some things to work on over the summer so they can try those with their teams. And uh, basically just want to want to keep guys ready um, to get back here. Uh, rather than giving them two, three months off, it takes a little while to get back, so keep them in some form of fitness and rhythm and then hit the ground running when we show up here in August. This was the first time you guys have been in the Ohio Spring Cup and being third, And um, but what do you think about that tournament as a whole, being able to get as many games in, um, obviously something to build upon in the spring as a whole? Yeah, you, you know, I think you get to play some games that even though it's not officially recognized by NCA, your, your pride and stuff, you, you set up a mini tournament, you know, say, and then, you know, third out of eight teams, you, you know, we wanted to be number one, and like I said, we had one bad week in the whole spring and, and paid the price, and, uh, but, but I think we got to see some really good things from it, you know, guys uh, play well, step up, uh, took care of some games on the road, which, which we haven't done much in the fall, and, you know, at the end of the day, we had the leading scorer in the whole league, uh, Dyson Clapier. Eight, you know, he had five goals and, and created problems every game. And like I said, as our team, we, we created a lot of, uh, I think we led the league in goals as well. So we saw a lot of positive things building under that. And that was, you know, one of the things we wanted to get out of it. But, uh, you know, I think at the end, you know, it, it's all about getting guys more experienced, more confidence, working on some things for the fall than, than maybe the complete results that you want in the spring. Does it make you nervous at all that it's like some lineups that you show early that, that other teams can potentially scout on or anything like that or from a competition standpoint for our guys know where they stand coming into summer? And, you know, I, I wish we, we were able to play our best lineup consistently through, but with injuries and, uh, you know, some sickness, we really only played our best lineup one time. Um, so I don't know what what the people will think in the fall, but at the end of the day, look, it's, it's Akron, right? We, we play our best lineup and we play the way we're capable of. We're going to win a lot of games, if not all of them, and th that's all we're focused on. Uh, for me, it's better that we didn't have our best lineup because I got to see some guys that are, are developing with, you know, maybe first team minutes, more first team minutes than they may have gotten in other situations, and I got to coach them and, and, and see how they react and, and see if we can't develop them into a key piece, whether off the bench or as a starter. So from that standpoint, you know, maybe maybe you suffer at some points in terms of your play, but it, it couldn't have worked out better for us as coaching staff. And then last coach, the guys that you did bring into the spring, where are they um, kind of going into the, to the summer um, from developing the Akron culture? Right. I, I think, you know, you saw a lot of new guys that were able to get their feet wet, understand how we play, you know, get immersed in our culture. And, you know, I think you saw improvement from them, you know, as the spring went on. And, and now they have a chance to build on that 
in, in the summer. And if they do that, then I think you can see a couple of them turn out to be potential starters, key guys. Uh, you know, Josh Hollenberger was involved in quite a few of our goals and assists. Um, you know, Joel, you, you know, had an injury in the spring, but you saw some potential there. Saw some great promise from freshmen, you know, Levi and, and Stefan. I think Stefan was uh, scored almost every game he played. Um, so you, you saw a lot of promise there from some young guys um, and, and guys that just joined our program. And, you know, it's really hard for them to jump in in the spring and, and you know, make a complete impact that they would like. But I think the, the steps those guys made and how they developed, I think the fall is going to be, you know, hopefully the place where you see them shine a little bit more.